Jump here, guys! And today we're talking about the Beta FPV. Beta 95 XHD. This is the two and a half inch ducted. Is it a Cinewhoop? Is it a Micro? I don't know. But it is a lot of fun and it has the DJI HD system, the Cadex Vista on board. And this is a handsome devil, if I must say so. I really like that blue color. And uh, I really didn't pay a lot of attention to this thing when it first came out because I just didn't kind of see the point. We already had small cine whoops. But once I really started getting more and more involved in the DJI system, I wanted to try a few DJI bind and flies. And I also, to compare and contrast, built up a two and a half inch Catalyst Machine Works Raging Drone with the Vista on board too. So I could compare two and a half inch power with ducks versus without ducks. And these are very similar motor setups. This is an 1106 4500 KV. On my massive drone, I'm flying 1106-4500 KB, so it's almost the same setup. Very cool. Um, so maybe I'll do a separate video to compare and contrast these two. This is really about this one. This kind of surprised me. Um, it comes with this little PLA camera cover that you can mount because the camera does stick out. I think they just reused the frame and the camera holder itself from a previous analog model you can see there was camera holes up there that was probably for uh analog micro camera but they're just using the same thing but it works just totally fine if you put that on it does provide some camper protection remind you it's you know just to remind you this is a two and a half inch it's not a five inch on 6s so it's not going to be going 110 miles an hour it comes with a couple of spare props some extra nuts uh some extra screws and some antenna tube. If you do buy this and you want to use Crossfire, I would suggest getting the Crossfire Bind and Fly. It was a little bit of a pain. I got the plug and play version because I was like, well, I got plenty of Crossfire receivers. I'll just put my own on there. I kind of regretted that. It took me over an hour to get this thing apart, figure out where I could fit it. There's not a lot of space in there. I finally got it fitted kind of up at the front. And then I zip tied the Immortal T back there. I was going to use the mini Immortal T, but when I saw the size of the ducks, I mean, it's almost as wide as the Immortal T, so I might as well get full range out of this thing. Um, it's really cool to have a micro that puts out full DJI power and full crossfire system. So this thing can comfortably fly just as far as any of my 5-inch quads on the DJI system, which is really cool. A lot of times in your micros on analog, you would have to fit in something smaller. And so even if you use their high quality um, video transmitter, you could usually only go up to about 400 milliwatts max. So, you know, it's not like as much distance as you can pump out 700, 1000, 11, you know, whatever the 1200 milliwatts or 1100 milliwatts on the DJI system and go really far. It flies surprisingly well. And if you look at this thing, this is not like a sin whoop. So it, these aren't ducks. These are guards. And so it doesn't negatively impact the flight performance as much as if these were full ducks. It's only a little bit of a guard around the prop. So you can still induce a little bit of prop wash, but I really had to try to get it to be apparent. Most of the times I could do power loops. I could do split S's. I could do flips and rolls and it was not affecting it that much, which is pretty nice and what you want. Um, the confidence of not smashing this thing into uh, the playground equipment or whatever really lets you just have a lot of freestyle fun. Go to a parking lot, go to a park, get a couple of quick packs. Um, I like that this really allows you to explore your environment with that beautiful DJI system uh viewpoint in your eyeballs they have a capacitor installed this is the older style beta stack so the esc and the flight controller are two separate which some people prefer that uh, i don't really think it's a huge difference either way since some of their newer boards are actually pretty good one comment i will make that i did not really like is that they are using small little screws everywhere on this thing instead of like hex so these are like tiny little Phillips head screws. One, I don't like that because I want to use my, you know, same three drivers I always use for quads. I got to find a little tiny screwdriver for some of these. 
And two, if I ever lose one of these, it's gonna be real hard to replace. So that's about one of the biggest gripes I could find about it. Um, I do know that they have another canopy for one that's a little farther forward. I kind of wish they had used that initially because I thought that was going to distribute the weight a little evenly. I thought this being so tall was going to have it, you know, have a sort of a pendulum effect. And you can feel that a little bit, but it's barely there. As you can see from the flying, like uh, I was not held back from doing any type of maneuver. It also gives you a lot of control. It does kind of operate a little bit on the heavier side so it does not fly like a toothpick it flies like one of your heavier style og 2.5 inch which really has a special feel now that this is the second two and a half inch uh flown on dji i'm really bringing me back to three years ago when 2.5 inch was the hottest thing around those things fly a little bit faster a little bit heavier um, than your modern day toothpick style. And so while it does carry around a little bit of extra weight compared to a toothpick, you're getting a flight feel that is different. Toothpicks can be really floaty and uh, hard to kind of do that throttle management because of the extra weight, you get a little bit of extra control. And when you're trying to go through tight spaces, uh, it actually makes it a little bit easier. So, Good job on this uh, Beta FPV. I think there may be a new version coming out, but I mean, this thing is really special. If you like the two boards uh, rather than the one, then try to find one of these. A lot of people prefer that on different crafts. I know on the Dayton Cube, uh, the two board version is the vastly preferred one. So that may be the case with this too, who knows. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you flying um, HD micros yet? Part of me wants to know what would happen if I just took off these guards and snipped them off. I bet it'd fly slightly better. But I do enjoy the protection. Some of the things with the, one of the things about these tiny micros is these motors can't really take much of a beating. And so by having these guards, it does give you a tiny, you know, 10% less performance, but it increases your confidence to be able to fly it the way you want to fly it by like 30 or 40 percent so it's just amazing how much more fun you can have when you just totally let go fly how you want to fly i'm one of those people that doesn't like breaking things so i'm always a little bit of extra cautious and when you have like those training wheels on there it's just so fun thanks guys mm -hmm.